Hey guys, welcome back. So we are now checking out the third floor. So the third floor is all new. With this, this is a two-story building that we had, and so we added this third floor. Um, if you remember, it's been a while since we've been taping, and a, a while since we've shown the third third floor. But I'm really excited for you to see. This is our um, hoods, our, our blowers. So this is for the grill, and then one is for the kitchen. So we don't want to smell food lingering, so this is going to suck it all out for whoever's cooking. I don't want to smell it. And then this is the elevator. So when you come out the back stairs or you can come up the elevator, then this is what Martin did. He is amazing. Check this out. It is crazy. So this is a braille panel wall. And so Martin put this up. It took him a while to do it, um, but he had a system, it's level, it's perfect. And so we're gonna um, mud it in between it and then paint it this reflective white. So it's just gonna be like really, really cool and kind of shiny. And this is just a feature that we have here as you come up and as you come up the front stairs, but it's also a feature when you're on the patio because the wall is a dark gray and then you'll be able to look through and see the, the braille. Um, it's just very, very bold. So you come up here. This is all um, just kind of a foyer. And then you have another half bath, and the half baths are stacked on each other. So you have this half bath, and they're tiling away. This is the dark tile. It's the same as the other half bath, but the entire bathroom is a, it's, it's called anthracite. So, and it's a huge tile. So it's wrapping around another white sink, and then we have the trash can. With this bathroom, we have a mirror that's gonna be mounted off the wall, going all the way across above the toilet and then it's gonna have a backlit to it. So it's gonna be a really dark, sexy room, and then it's a frosted glass door that I hope people can't see through. I'm a little concerned, but um, I'm gonna use the one in the master. <laughs> and then over here is the gym where it's all gonna happen. Um, it's a little dark in here, but this is gonna have the massage chair, a bike, and then a leg press, and then a full machine here. So we're gonna have all that. And then there's another washer and dryer and then a 70 inch TV mounted here. Um, let's see, art gallery, art gallery. And then you come down here, this is gonna be the braille wall. And then down here is the front of the building where our new stairs are, which are here. This is the, st the stairs I mentioned in our last video by House of Sharp. And it's gonna have the big wooden treads on there. And then this is all glass and then this is a glass door. So this is the whole new front entry to our guest suite, which is right here. It's gonna have a code entrance, and this is gonna have an aluminum woven wall, a glass door, an ensuite bathroom, and then it's gonna have its own thermostat. So if our friends wanna come and stay with us, um, or family members, um, run it by me first, because some of y'all can't stay, but a lot of you can. Um, Come on in and hang out. We're gonna have little lotions and toothbrush. If you're out partying hard on the weekend and you need to lay down instead of drinking and driving, I'll buzz you in. You just come on up. Got your washer, dryer, bathroom, all of that. Um, and some snacks probably somewhere. Um, and then over here, I was gonna show you the bathroom. Um, they're still working on it, but it's all white. A high gloss white tile on the wall and a gray concrete and then there's gonna be some floating wooden shelves here, and then there's a mirror step back so you can hide toilet paper behind there. And then an all glass door that's half inch thick and it's eight foot tall. So it's just a very airy bathroom. And I think we're putting a piece of art mounted on this tile. It's like blue and orange and like really fun. And so it's gonna go here and you have your frosted door. So this feels like kind of a, a little hotel room because right off this door, which isn't here yet, is solid glass. You have an eight foot deep deck. And we're doing plannings. I just bought a beautiful sculpture. And it wraps all the way around. Okay, so here's the third, the third floor lounge. And it has like a cabinet here and a refrigerator. It's a game table, a round white sectional, and an 85 inch TV. And the TV is for this to be an inside outside TV. And this is really fun. This is the sliding door. It just glides away. So we now have this entire space open. 
the inside outside so that we can enjoy the TV, music, and just be able to entertain inside outside. So that's the flexibility of having the 15 foot door opening. Okay, so here's the rooftop. Um, there is a gray, gray decking. It's a solid gray decking that's gonna level from this floor up to the, con the concrete pavers. The concrete pavers is where the turf is gonna be attached to it. So this is all gonna be, be level. And it's gonna be turf. And then that's four glass panels. That's the new glass door from the front stairs. And then these are the windows I was talking about with the braille. Like at night, I think it's just gonna glow and look really, really cool. Now there has been a few changes. Since we've been doing this renovation, I've been adding a few things. So I need to hurry up and finish so I can stop spending money. Cause I'm doing art, I'm ordering stuff. Over here, we came up with block waterfall edge granite. It's gonna come here and then there's gonna be stainless steel cabinets and a stainless steel refrigerator. Cause I figured if you're up here and you're thirsty, you don't wanna have to go in there or go downstairs. So it's gonna be here. There's a dining table, living room, chairs, and more chairs and chases here. And then we're gonna do like a little herb garden. And when I say herb garden, I'm talking about 24 inches. It's not like a whole garden. It's like a planter. I think I overshot that. <laughs> it's not a garden. It's a herb planter. It's 24 inches. 24 inches by 24 inches. That's it. Because I really can't grow anything. Um, so there's one there. And then there's three big round pots. They're massive. I think only one came in so far, but there's three of them. And they're gonna be near that corner with like silver grasses coming out. Um, it's gonna be decorative. And I asked them about the, the grasses because I think I can grow them. If I forget to water them, I think they'll stay there. So those are gonna be here. And then it's gonna wrap around. We're gonna have our stainless cables for Eric so he doesn't fall over. <laughs> and then House of Shark, my girl Rose, I just, she's amazing. First time her and I met, we talked for like 45 minutes and we just connected. She's an artist and she's also like great at metal work and her husband like builds it all perfectly. They're just great, great people. I love them. Um, but Rose came up with a sketch and so she's doing a metal sketch that looks like a pencil drawing. And it is a woman, it is eight foot tall by 15. And it's a woman sideways and her hand is out like, like this. So I'm really like jacked about seeing that. Because when I saw this, I thought it was just a big wall. There's three chases. And I thought, what do you put here? And I was just going crazy. And when I met with, with Rose, just her and talking and coming together, she came up with it. And I think it's done. And there's all these pieces of metal, thin pieces of dark gray metal. So it's gonna bring all the coloring together, gray and black. So I think it's gonna be beautiful. And then under the parapet wall is an LED light. So it's gonna have a glow. We're gonna do a light on this some, some kind of way. And then we have some very subtle porch lights on each side of the glass and by each door. They're eight foot tall um, and the light shines back. So very it's, subtle. it's very, very, very subtle. Um, and they're black. So they're gonna be these big lights shining on there. So that's gonna be a little drama. And then we have all the turf. And then you walk around here, and then you have this skylight. When they had this open and the natural light came in, I had goosebumps all over me because I never really thought much. Actually, this was not part of our plan. Our architect, um, Chris Haney, um, threw this in because we're very decisive and we're like, no, I want this. Yes, we want this. This is our design. So Chris was like, let me put my toe in it and he put this in and I love it it truly gave me goosebumps it made me happy just thinking about walking up those stairs and having that natural light flooding in it's just gonna be just that extra little bonus and then coming here this is one of our little pots I bought so what happens is when we come up with something we tend to go overboard so this is one big pot this pot's going centered here and then we bought like a 15 foot tree. It's like a plum color tree. And then this is the other pot that's gonna go here in the corner. And that one has some kind of silvery pine tree. And it's probably like 10 feet. Maybe. And then I found this metal sculpture of this woman holding his like mother and child. And you know, I used to be a therapist. 
and all that gets to me. And she's like holding a baby in the air and it was kind of abstract. So I bought that too. And it's going in front of the pot. And then there's two chairs and a light up cube. So when my aunt comes from Washington DC, I want her to lock herself in a room with some snacks and some good hot tea, cause she doesn't drink coffee. And I want her to have a book and some comfortable bedding with maybe a little music on, a little Teddy Pendergrass or somebody, and just enjoy herself and disconnect from everything and everyone and just enjoy herself. So that's what this is about. This represents family and friends and love and sharing. So that's very, very exciting for, for uh, Martin and I to, to be able to share this. So this is where things have been in the past three, three months. We've been building and rebuilding <laughs> And, and fixing and refixing but it's, it's pretty it's coming together and I can vision like our, our visions coming together but I can see it now I can see it when I stand here and I look at the khaki and the dark gray and the khaki it just has a really nice modern feel and the thought of the, the turf and the decking and then looking out here I mean just standing here and just looking at our little big town Wichita, Kansas. We love you. Please, please, comments, please share. Um, let me know if, if there's anything I'm missing. If there's something that I need to buy that you just looked at something and said, oh my God, Antoine needs this. Comment, let me know. Um, if you see me on the streets, holla at your boy. See you guys. Thank you.